Hi everyone, this is Paige with HTP, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the job mode function with our Propulse 220 MTS machine. Before we move to the machine and I show you how to access job mode, I want to explain to you how it functions and why it is so useful. The term job refers to saved welding parameters. I'm not just talking about amperage and voltage, I'm also talking about inductance, pinch, burn back, pre-flow and post-flow of gas, slope down timer, hot start. Any variable that you can adjust on this machine can be saved in a job. The job mode is useful because it allows you to quickly recall saved welding parameters. If you work in an environment where you are continuously welding the same parts in rotation, this allows you to save your welding parameters for each part so that you can quickly switch between them throughout the workday without having to test your settings on scrap material all the time. The job mode is also useful if you often weld materials that are not included in our center programs that come pre-programmed on the machine. You would set the machine in manual mode, adjust your settings, and then save those parameters as a job. Now I'm going to show you how to save a job, how to access a job, how to leave job mode, how to overwrite a job, and how to access the trigger job function for the first three jobs saved on your machine. First I'm going to show you how to set a job. Right now we're in manual MIG mode and I'm in MIG 2T. Let's say I want to weld 8th inch carbon steel in spray transfer. I'm gonna set maybe 260 something, 263 inches per minute and let's say 21 and a half volts. That should be hot enough for my application. So to save this as a job, all right, I'm gonna use the second button here. You can see job on the display. These two dashes indicate that we are not currently in any job, so I'm gonna select job. I have job saved in slots one, two, and three. I'm gonna to toggle down to the third slot because that's where I wanna save the job that I just made. And I'm gonna overwrite the job in index three with the parameters that I had on the previous screen. So back to job, select the third job, and I'm gonna save. Hold this button down. This job is protected. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes. So now these parameters are saved in job three. To exit this job, what I need to do is press the button under job on the display, and then hold the select mode button for about five seconds. You see the asterisk went away. We know that we're not in job mode once again because we see these two dashes next to job where it could have the index of the job. To recall a job, I hit the job button. I select which job I want to recall and I hold the recall button for a few seconds. Now I'm in job number one. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the trigger job function which allows you to toggle between the first three jobs saved in the machine's memory by just pulling the trigger. To toggle between the first three jobs in the machine's memory, you need to pull the trigger without striking an arc. I just have the gun pointed up in the air. If I were to make contact with the workpiece, obviously I would start welding and it wouldn't change the next job. It only goes through jobs one, two, three, one, two, three, and then from three to one. To be able to utilize the trigger job function, you need to have at least 0.3 seconds of pre-flow, and you need to be in MIG 2T. Another important thing to know about job mode is that jobs 1 through 12 are locked. You can see this padlock next to jobs 1 through 12, and then all the jobs after that, so 13 through 30, are unlocked. The fact that these jobs are unlocked means that you can adjust these parameters while you're in the job. So I'm going to recall one of these jobs. And you can see that I can change the wire feed speed, the voltage, I can change my start speed, I can change burn back, all while in the job. Now let's exit this job. Any of the jobs from 1 to 12 are sufficient to demonstrate this, but let's recall job number 3. I can't adjust anything while I'm in this job. This goes to show that in jobs 1 through 12, you cannot adjust the parameters while you are in the job. You would have to overwrite that job to change any variable that you like. 
but jobs 13 through 30, you can change any setting that you want while you are actively in the job, and then you can save it so that the next time you recall that job, you start with the adjusted settings. So Afterpage showed you how to override an individual job. There's also an option to erase all jobs at once. For that, you press the job button. Then you can see right now, you can scroll through here, there's jobs saved in there. I can never delete an individual job, but I can delete them all at once by holding the select mode button and the down button for five seconds. This will erase all the jobs out of the entire, out of the entire memory. Now, when we talked about the locked jobs and no adjustability. So for example, if I want to switch between, let's say, a pulse and a non-pulse aluminum job or something like this, and now I can go ahead with the trigger of the gun and switch between the non-pulse and the pulse button. Now the other thing I have, I have this blinking R up in here for remote control. The way how all these locked jobs work, when I look at this here, once I am in the locked job, like Paige pointed out, I can't really make any adjustments on here. Everything is locked out for me to make adjustments to. But the remote control still overrides. So if I have a remote control like the slider, I can still lower my settings or increase my settings. And I can do this in all the locked jobs. So the nice thing about this is I don't have to commit to a specific setting that I weld all my parts with because one day my parts are cooler, one day my parts are hotter, and I may need to make some small adjustments. If I have a remote control plugged in, I can still make all these adjustments while I'm in, while I'm in these programs. I can make my own hot start, I can make my own crater fill. It will just keep my pre-flow, post-flow, pinch, burn back, induction setting, everything is kept the same that's not adjustable. But my overall, my overall parameters I can adjust. Now I'm locked out on my arc length, if that's a concern to, to do the trim, to do the arc length shorter or longer. But for overall uh, ease of application for welding, it's a huge thing that the remote control overrides those those parameters as always if you have any questions whatsoever please leave them in a comment and we can cover that topic in a future video thank you